Anyway, welcome everybody to episode 54. Welcome to the Daily Crossing. Uh, Lexi, great to see you. Yes, Lorena, yes. great having you today. It's, uh, how are we doing? Fucked really? up, fired up, super excited. Everybody back in the state of Florida. We have a yes. phenomenal day yes. today. What is it, about 73, 74? It's, it's more like 76, 77. 76, yeah. right? Sunny. Oh, you woke what? up. So, I, I mean, it's, 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 it's go back to the snow, bro. I know it's like, way too hot. It's a difficult life, you know what I mean? It's like this. It's a day when you wake up and you're like, man, should I go to the beach? Should I go to the parks? You know what I mean? And like, so somebody's got to do it. Get that stale, right? that pale. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> and talk you know about I mean? the beach. I, I, it's not I know, I know, I know, but uh, you know, it took me a lot Ghostly of work to get white. this to get this color. You know what I mean? Alexi knows that this is a profitable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Kerry Lake, I want to hear your take because you've been here for many years, and it's not just a question of being here for many years. You came here when you were 14 years old, right? Mm -hmm. That's that. And you were born here, mm -hmm. right? And so, w what does it mean to you when, you when you hear this type of conversations? Obviously, it's a recording, it's alleged that it took place, kind of took quasi confirmed that it did happen uh jeff uh dewitt who is was the republican party chair for the state of arizona uh who was the one who made the phone call mm -hmm. actually resigned from his position you know mm -hmm. what i mean and so what's your take on this uh, in a situation like this though what does it mean to you what does it mean to democracy what does it mean to the election process what um, it well mean? to me this is just another <clears throat> um slip up by the the powers that be to keep all the things that they do under wraps. They're not doing a good job of it. So to me, I'm not surprised. I, I feel like this is not something new. I feel like this is something that's been going on. I feel like elections were being rigged since they killed JFK. They From then, there's been somebody trying to put their hand in the way the, the, the government or the um, country will go. So I'm, I'm not surprised. It's just that we don't always see it. Or we assume that these things don't happen in America, but um, but like I said, I'm I'm not surprised at all, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. For me, on this end, I am actually uh, glad that it happened, because uh, that means that Kerry Lake had to have the courage to not only record the conversation but air it out. Uh, she did allude to it earlier, like when it actually happened, because this is not something that happened recently, and I think most people are confused about that. It, it, we know it's happening. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right. Uh, or most people, you you be naive to believe that these conversations are not happening. It's stuff that you see like out of shows, House of Cards, and stuff like that. I mean, this guy alluding to his car blowing up. You know, it's like all of a sudden you go into your car and. It's kind of, it, it's a scary thing. It's very graphic. It's extremely graphic. And not only that is, I mean, we know that things like that happen in my country all the time. And, you know, that the bribery is happening and stuff like that. I'm just actually grieving. Over there, it went to the point that it's done, like, in your face. This is the first time it's airing out here. I'm just hoping that the that we, the people, actually go vote and understand that some of these things are happening. And we're able to really, really point out who are the good characters and who are the bad characters, or who are the lesser, or lesser bad characters in this whole equation, and we don't get desensitized mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest concern, is you being desensitized. Oh, one more guy. You know, uh, you're, the president is having an affair. Come on, like, that's normal in, in, in everybody. So the fact that, like, it, that is uh, uh, something that we're not desensitized from. Like, I mm -hmm. remember when the mass shootings were, like, such a big deal that it was happening. Now there's, like, a mass shooting happening every other week. Correct. And no one's really talking about it anymore. We became mm. numb yeah. to that process. So I'm glad that it came out, and I'm hoping that, we the people we process it the way that it's meant to be, which is let's pick better people to be in those positions and let's hold them accountable. So let me tell you some of the things that I'm absolutely concerned about when it comes to this issue. Mm -hmm. One of them is the fact that only a few traditional channels uh, from yeah. regular media will play something like this. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is going to try to bury it. Everybody else is going to try to hide it. Some of the people are already arguing that it's a fake it's tape fake. that it never happened. That yeah. this is this is not real. And, and, and again, this is the people, that, there's a group of people that are so committed to, to a brand, to a whatever, they're willing to lie and say whatever, whatever it takes, you know what I mean? I am extremely surprised, but, I, but at the same time, I'm not, because those people are real, exist, right? 
I'm deeply grateful for social media and, and, and uh, YouTube and, and all of these channels that give the ability. I, to be quite honest with you, this is the moment where I wish we had a bigger audience, you know what I mean, right. where we had, you know, three million people so that we can at least bring it to your attention. Mm -hmm. Because what you're saying about is, is normal in other countries. This is the kind of banana republic type of thing that you don't see. That it's you not don't, the store. Let me, let, me, let me put it this way. Is that, that you don't believe, like, like you were saying, is like people are extremely naive yeah. to actually believe that these things are not happening uh, as, as often as yeah. we would like it to be. But the fact of the matter is that for, for a while now, this is the game. you got to wait your turn. you got to get the blessing. Sure. you got to get, and I will tell you, I always go back to a reference of one of the major cities in Honduras. This guy was running to be the, the mayor of the, the industrial city, San Pedro Solesco. Somebody showed up to his house. Uh, somebody had eventually became president of Congress, and eventually when the, uh, the removal of President Zelaya took place, he was president, interim president for, for, for a while. That guy specifically would send a group of people to imagine that send somebody to your house with two bags packed with cash, a couple of million dollars. Mm -hmm. And the message is, you're going to be a mayor, mm -hmm. but not, not this that. time around. You've got to wait your turn. And that is, Alexi, when I tell you, as business as usual, as Here's the problem. If you don't take the money, you don't have anywhere to go to. You can't do what she did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, if you dare say something, because in, in here, yeah, in yeah. here, her move is, okay, now that they made the track, and yeah. it was very detailed, yeah. right? It's not, listen, we can get you this, we can get you a few things, you know, a yeah. good thing, you know. Couple positions. Not right now, maybe positions here, maybe some money there, maybe this deal there. If it goes bad, though, you know, it's like, you know, you've seen those things with cars are blown up. Like, it was a real, very, you know, detailed, short message, I mean, 10 minutes, that was packed with everything, yeah. bribery, threats. Like the stuff that you see in the movies, right? Mm -hmm. The people don't yeah, believe yeah. that are happening here. She has to come out and say something. Because yeah. the difference between us and other countries is that the way you minimize the threat to your life and to yourself is by saying, listen, if anything happens to me, at least now you What's know that? why. Yeah. Yeah. When in other countries, literally say, if you say something, that, that's a guarantee that they're going to kill you. Mm -hmm. And then people are willing to say, you should have kept it quiet. Because yeah. you knew they were going to kill you. You, you have yeah. nobody to go to. He still decided to run. They, they made his life miserable to the point that he had to leave the country. He was lucky enough to be a, an American citizen. Mm. And in the middle of the night, you're talking about crossing borders and stuff like that just to get out of Honduras before the guy was actually killed. Uh, and, and that essentially is the story for, for a day-to-day -day type kind of, of scenario. They, they came pretty close to, you know what I mean? But that he literally have to come here, talking about people that really need asylum. asylum yeah. That's a real, yeah, 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 that's yeah. A real situation. Yeah, they exactly. tried to kill me, and it's in a very public way. Uh, and that just played out in front of everybody, and yeah. everybody in Honduras is just saying, bro, listen. You should have not said anything. You, no, it's worse than that. You should have taken the money, yeah. right? Hopefully, you know, you it's, it's the, the, the imagine when, when the level of corruption and bribery gets to the point where, where, where the people, people say it's totally people fine. Are saying, yeah. You're stupid. You should have. You should have. <laughs> well, where are we today as a country, though? Because this kind of games, this is when we go into every election right now, mm -hmm. and everybody starts thinking that, oh, no, these things don't happen here. Yeah. They do Absolutely. happen here. Yeah. It's happening more often. This whole idea of way your turn, or they don't like your brand right now, maybe later, we don't know. She had the courage. Uh, I, I, I don't know what it means for her politically. Though. Does she become a more attractive vice president candidate now? Uh, or does she become a little bit of a liability? Because where, who are those people that send Jeff DeWitt to make that call? Mm. You know, and what kind of power? And not only that, though, it's like the audacity, you know what I mean, to, to do something like that. But what I'm saying to the average American right now is that when you see something like this taking place, you, you want to continue to be naive to assume that there, there are no irregularities when it comes to elections and how things are being handled, then I don't know what to tell you. Really, you, you're going to have to get a little more involved and become more active when it comes to every single election to make sure that 
you or your family. So, so right now, I'm, I'm recruiting into the voting process people that I know that happen to be in the position of voting. And all I'm saying is, don't be indifferent about the process. I know that, you know, you see things like this, and sometimes people just get even more, more discouraged, you know, because, yeah. I mean? like, listen, right. come on, there's nothing. So nothing is real anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're taking the, the trust component out of the whole process. So, but f what can we possibly do other than to encourage people to say, hey, listen, you you got to show up. That's just the only way that we fix Precisely this thing. Precisely because of this reason. Pre it's pre gotta, exactly. The wind's got to be massive. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, uh, very scary to know that this is already, that, that we are already operating at, the, at that level of corruption. Because mm -hmm. I, when, when politics get to that level of corruption, though, then you, you know that it's connected to power and money. That everything that you deal with or you see that makes no sense, right? With, with that, I'm going to name, we, we spoke about the, a couple of things right now. The border and this gas permit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This natural gas projects. Guys, at some point you're asking yourself the you're question. those are two conversations that are not public. Two, two conversations that, that what I'm saying is yeah. that it really makes no sense mm -hmm. when if we are the people that are more concerned about global warming, and we do more than any other country, 